Okay, so now I will show you guys glossary. So we will first start with materials. So basically, if you are using any type of materials that you would like to add into the app, you can simply start by pressing the plus button and you can see that you can select from a range of items from fertilizer, seeds, chemicals, um, other products and fuel. So for now, I will select seeds and I will say sunflower seeds and you can select the amount of units so I'll say by the kilogram and um, if you have any additional information you can just add it but for now I'm just gonna select save so now you can see that here sunflower seeds appears and basically you can do that with anything so remember in task view we could add all this information and basically anything that you save here you can add into the um, tasks okay so now we will select back and we will go to machinery again here you see a list of different machinery and if you wanted to add your own machine or own tractor you simply go down to the plus icon and you can choose the vehicles option and here, as we've seen before, you can type in the type slash model, uh, the width, and the year. And once you have done that, you can just press save, and it will appear. So for now, I'll say, um, I'm just going to make up a type and model uh, glass. Then I'll select next, width uh, 2.5. Yeah, let's just say two no 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 two point five next year two thousand ten select next and if you have any additional info you can just add that but for now that is not the case so I will back out of this with the bottom arrow and you can just select save so now you have the new tractor that appears. And again, we can add this to tasks, or also in the very beginning, you can add the type of tractor that you wanna use. So for now, I will select back. And if you have any extra crops that you wanna use, um, if you found a crop that is not on the list, but the one that you're using, you can simply start by pressing the plus button. And we will say, um, we will do celery and you can go to the paint icon and give it your own special color if you'd like give it dark green for now and once you are satisfied you can select save and you can see that if you go all the way down to the bottom then celery will appear and once you've done that you can press the back button and the last one that we have is workers. And this one is fairly straightforward. Um, if you want to add a new coworker, you just select the plus button and you can add a new worker. So we'll add a new worker here. Let's say will select next position coworker next. If you have any additional info or if you want to add a picture of that individual, uh, you can. So for now, we will select save. And you can just simply select the back button and it should reappear. So the individual will will reappear uh, for coworkers. And if you just want to go back to the main screen, you can just select the back button and it'll bring you back to the glossary. So again, if we go to tasks and we wanted to update one of our tasks, we can go to planting for instance, and you can select the plus button and we can go to materials and you can see that you can select seeds and for materials, you can just select the bottom arrow 
choose kilograms and yeah you can just add sunflower seeds that will reappear right here and then you can just select um, if you have a certain amount of kilograms that you want to use or the rate they use um, you can type that information so we'll select um, 10 or 11 apologies then select next you can see the rate that already gets calculated and you can simply select save so now you can see materials sunflower seeds machinery John Deere if you wanted to use a different tractor you can go to the plus go to machinery and you can see your new tractor and you can also if you want to unselect the tractor just simply select the check button and at the top hit the check icon to save it and there you have it thanks everyone for watching and feel free to subscribe to our channel for more videos and tips